people, ah, look tough, look like cowboy. We got appearances to keep up. Now, you all better inject a whole lot more color into your... Okay, eyes front, everyone. The clock is ticking on this one, so we don't have time to monkey around. Toothpick's gold train is already rolling, and with the incorporation of our van, it's virtually impossible to stop. Thankfully, Tennessee was able to divert the train's route, which gives us the chance we need to catch it. First, Murray, you're going to get the van back. It's positioned near the rear of the train, acting not unlike a booster rocket. It's going to take your considerable fighting skills just to reach it. The catch is that it's being secured with a set of special magnetic locks, which can only be broken by someone of your immense strength. Once the van is free, you'll be able to catch the train and pick each of us up as we complete our tasks. Carmelita, you and I will tackle the next set of cars. I need you to use your peerless marksmanship and cover me while we make our way forward. It won't be easy. The train is crawling with guards, and they'll be gunning for both of us. Our goal is to reach a computer terminal near the middle of the train, where I'm going to do a little hacking. As we already know, Toothpick cannot stand high-pitched frequencies, particularly whistles. So I'll reroute the power and control of the steam whistles on the train engine. Something tells me this will come in handy when we finally reach him. Sly in Tennessee, you're up next. To ensure we stop Toothpick, we'll need to cover all possible escape routes. So Sly, you'll take the roof of the train. Tennessee, you'll move through the cars, where we should be able to reclaim your gold along the way. But your gunslinging will definitely be put to the test. You both should reach the engine around the same time, where you can take Toothpick down. The rest of us will catch up with you in the van. One last thing. Don't forget we're a team, and that's the only way we're going to be able to pull this off. Everyone needs to execute their part of the plan perfectly if we're going to get the van, steal the gold, and stop Toothpick. Now let's move out!
victory. Is this the best you've got? Shooting and by hiding, we make a great team. Now to jack that terminal. All right, time for a hack attack. Yes, I'll have those whistles rigged in a jiffy. The whistles are the key! <laughs> oh, ouch! It's my ear holes! Uh, I think I have one to go! Yes! Okay, Bentley. Glad I could help out. This 
here robbery's gonna be one for the record books. This one. Self down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff. Oh, blast you, Tennessee Kid Cooper! I'm gonna lock you in the deepest, darkest hole, and I'm going to throw away the key! Give it up, Toothpick! The fat lady is sung, and you are done! Oh, am I? My gun! No! <laughs> Thanks, kid! Lou Paradox sends his regards! Adios, kitchen! Relax, pal. I'll take care of this. It's all over, Cooper! Break out the tailbird costume, fly! Watch those lasers, fly! Why does everyone use lasers? Need to focus. Oh, get to the whistle, boy! For you. Oh, oh, is that the best you've got? Oh! 
Try jumping those small whirlwinds. No way to jump these twisters. I'll have to avoid them. Just took care of that, Bentley. No, Sly, the train is headed for a broken bridge. I'm guessing that wasn't part of the plan. Sly, you have to get off that train. Jump to the van. Murray, hit the brakes. They're not working, and I can't shut down the rockets. What? You idiots. You call this a plan? Ugh, I knew this was a bad idea. I knew I should have had you send me back to Paris. Oh, I can't believe it's going to end like this. What in tarnation are they doing? And I was just wondering where that gold had got to. Bentley! Sorry, Murray. This has to work. Hey, that's my necklace. Here goes nothing. As the van hurtled into the ravine, it felt like we were in slow motion. The thought that our adventures were over flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. Then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace, and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives. But now, we had no idea where we were headed. We held on as the van was sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, when?